Hello, welcome to Castle Moon Academy. We're going to show you what we've done with ancient Egypt this year. This is our lap book. And look at my arm down. I'm standing up on, on the step pyramid. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, that is the lap book. So we open it up. Here. You hold it just a little bit there. Here is the the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt. And this is the ancient Egypt calendar. So you open it up, there's the different people, or actually, sorry, down here is the names of the crowns. So there is, so once there was one crown here, one crown here, but one person turned them into one, two into one. And we open it up, oh, nothing there. And here, we go over here, because we don't know about it. We close this up. And down here, there's a little spinner. You move it, and it gives you the name underneath the thing. And then you look over here to see what it is. What kind yeah. of names? What do they mean? Well, like a visor, it would go, you'd go over here, find visor, and it says second to Pharaoh, the visor from the government appointed officer, officers and in for, and for, forced laws. Government, oh no way, yeah, and that's, yeah. So those are jobs of ancient Egypt, are yeah. they? Yeah, jobs. So down here is the ancient Egyptian calendar. Yeah. Look, the sun is out. We spin it. Now, what is it? The moon. And then these are pyramids. There's the sand. Lots of glitter. What's inside the calendar? So it tells you the ancient Egyptian calendar which is here. Next is the five holy days. Holy days are the lack or or lack of the leap of a leap day. Oh well next is counting the years. And then last of all is wet Renat. So close that up. Then we flip the page. <laughs> ah, this is the, the this Egyptian is kitchen. Yeah, the Egyptian which tells you the recipes, and the the foods that you would eat in the ancient Egypt. dining out loud. and it tells you how to make them. And down here it says, "He who has bread and something to dip it in has the home of happiness." The Egyptian program. Over here is the Ebrus pa 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 papyrus. papyrus. So it tells you different cures, so they are gross. Really gross. <laughs> tells you a bit about it. Then over here, the first one is a remedy for constipation. Herbs constipation. Her, her, you need herbs of the field, a nab plant, jengent beans, and bread dough. Pound together to make into four cakes to eat. And then there's quite a few other ones. So we take this, put it back in its pocket, which is at its home. Do you remember any of the strange ingredients in there? In any oh, of those? yeah, hogs, a hog's tooth, which was weird, pig's feet, it was weird. So up here, the pyramids. So you color these in, actually put them in the order they had on the picture, and then you draw something that's here. I drew 
uh, esophagus and the canopic jars, four, the four canopic jars and the um, medical cabinet. <laughs> and, and then you can also you take it and fold it up and this here, this flap, see that? Goes into this little cut, which gives you the pyramid. And it's called the pop pop pyramid. And then, and then you can now over. So now, oh, no, just give the book a twist. So it's just a oh. blank space on this side. Oh right, okay. We'll just tuck that back in again. So there's a bit here. Tells you something about the pyramids. And again, here, ancient. And again, on the other side, 180 degrees exactly, on the other side, is more about them. Here, ancient Egyptian mummies. Here is a mummy wrapped up in bandages. And it tells you a bit about it. And then next, yeah. a mummy is the first coffin. And then it tells you something about that. The second coffin. And here's the second coffin. Mm -hmm. And then the third. third coffin. Quite a few coffins. In fact, this is King's Tut's coffin. That's the fourth. This and is the fifth. fifth. <laughs> and One then. Coffin. Next is wait ah here and then next is the esophagus what they get put into and then that's oh. about the sarcophagus and then that's mm -hmm. about it and then there's the canopic jars yeah help for canopic jars and then we fold that back down you just to take this down, you just go like this, and it flattens out so it's easy to put full up. And then over here mm -hmm. is the Daniel guy again. Just hold it up gently. It's a little difficult. Lots in there. Have you finished it yet?